Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. Yeah, remember me? I think I said that in the last video, and it wasn't even as long for that one as it has been for this one. It's been over a month since I've posted a video. I figured I would take the time now to just plabber with you and tell you why. So, why have I been gone for so long? Well, day job. It's all I've been doing. So, that's all you get. Thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe, and remember kids, forward and up. Okay, I'm kidding. I'm kidding about the end of the video, but I'm not kidding about what I've been doing. Two things. One, day job. Day job has ruled my world. It's all I've been doing. Uh, I'm completely overwhelmed with it. It's getting a little bit better now because I kind of got myself caught up, but it hasn't just been me. It's been everybody on the team. So that's what's been happening. Now, it's Saturday morning. Other than telling you about this, I have nothing to do with day job today. Um, today and tomorrow, because I think tomorrow is supposed to be even warmer, we're under heat advisories. So I just opened the garage door and holy shit, all the, all the cool air gone now. It's hot as balls already. So I wanted to show you what else I've been working on. If I haven't been doing day job, all I've been doing is working on the truck and the garage because of the truck. So I am now done with my truck. The Bluebird is finished. I have gotten it to exactly where I want it to be. So other than, like I say, catastrophic failure or shit like that, uh, I'm done with it. I've got it modified and set up the way that I want it to be set up so that I'm comfortable and I have everything I could possibly need when I'm on the road, since I'm on the road so much. That has culminated in me having to get a lot of tools and getting this garage organized after I got everything that I got for the truck and having to tear down boxes and throw shit away. And I got stuff that uh, ended up being crap and not working, so I had to replace it with new stuff. So I've got some shit on the chopping block, but for now, I'm gonna show you the truck as we walk out to it from the garage. So here's the garage. So as you can see now, I have this completely organized now. I got rid of all the Ryobi boxes, and I'll show you what I mean by those. This is it. I mean, I got organizers for all little screws, bolts, washers. I got ratcheting like a crescent wrench set because I didn't have any of those. Here's stray sockets and other wrenches. Here's more storage for stuff. Here's other storage for shit that I use almost all the time. Screws, blah, 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 razor blades, more storage. And then all the other tools and stuff for the vehicle to wash it and care for it and all that shit. Uh, this is where it's just been a nightmare. All along here and down here was just stacked with, with cardboard boxes for all the power tools, all the shit that I bought for the truck. When I got the one piece for the truck, it had to be delivered by a freight vehicle that had a lift on it because it was over 350 pounds. So that was sitting in here on a pallet in a gigantic box. But anyway, so now this is all done though. I had this all put away nice and neat. As you can see, with all the tools I bought, I got a shit ton of batteries. Here's all the drills and the cutting tools, more cutting tools, all the chargers that came with it. I got bit sets and, and drill sets. I got more tools all along here. That's what's left of the pallet that I got with the, uh, the diamond back cover. Now, we're gonna show you the truck. When I first bought it, it was stock. I had to get new tires because the previous owner, this is a 2022, so it was like a little over a year, almost two years old. They never rotated the tires, so the tires were shot. So I had to get new tires, but I got highway friendly tires because that's all I do is drive on the highway. Then I ended up getting a tonneau cover that I didn't like, but it was temporary. So I got the Linex stuff put on the inside, and then I ended up getting this Diamondback cover. And that thing is hot as shit. All right, so as you can see, it's all line -axed. I got that shit sprayed in like the day after I bought it. I have these pack outs in here that are filled with stuff. I'm probably gonna switch them so that that pack out is closer to here because it's gonna be a little bit easier to get into. And then this one will be back there on the side. I got this built right mole panel that I just got and put in, uh, not yesterday, but the day before and got those all set up. I also got these step up bars that I put in here. These are actually seat covers that I just got installed. That was the last step that I was waiting for. Um, I have under seat storage that I bought in here. So I got a bunch of tools and other shit that I carry around. Underneath here, 
I put a locking box into the, there's like a, a little cubby in there. Put in this pure sine wave power inverter. It's a thousand watt power inverter. I also got another built right moly panel, a hard panel on there. I got an updated fire extinguisher with the holder. I put one of these pack outs in here and that is strictly for first aid stuff. One of the other things that I did, if you lift this up now, I did this hack where you cut the little pieces of this off so that you can get them over this. Here, I bent that one. I got to bend that back up and uh, fix this. See, because it's not even going over. I'm going to do that later today. Plus, obviously, the, the floor mats, the WeatherTech floor mats. WeatherTech window guards. Always, always, always part of it. Uh, I have, did not put the seat covers on these because uh, the most important thing about this truck is the air-conditioned seats. This right here is the reason I bought this truck. Air-conditioned seats, baby. The other big project that I did on this truck was this, the center console. This came with a center jump seat, which I hated. And you just flop the seat back down and it acted like a sort of center console, but it sucked and I fucking hated it. So I found this center console on eBay from a company and after going back and forth about price and shipping and all that shit, I got them down to where I needed it to be to make sense to me and I got the center console. My buddy who's helped me do a lot of stuff on this truck because I need help, uh, we tore out the center seat and installed this center console and got it all hooked up. So now I've got all this space in here to do whatever I need to do. It's got storage here and then storage here. And as you can see down in there, I put a console vault in there. So it's a safe if I need to put my gun or whatever in there. The other thing is that I put this back in here. So this holds my cell phone. I got a different mount so that I can put my tablet in here. And then I got this, which thank God was so simple. It wasn't like the Forerunner where I had to drill into the dash and take it apart to get it to go. The Ruby Grip mounting plate down in there put the two screws back in and now I can mount whatever I want up here. So this is for actually the Pocket 3, which I'm using now. I got a dual mount for the Action 4, which will face me, and the Action 3, which will face forward. And then I got another mount that's specifically for a, a little CB radio here. Just last week, I think last Saturday, I had the uh, internet turned on on this truck. I ended up going to AT&T and getting an unlimited plan so that I have internet in the truck. Also, and it annoys me that they don't automatically put these on trucks, but I got tow hooks for the front. So rough country tow hooks, and we're good to go. That's it, that's the Bluebird. That's what I have done to this thing. And by doing that, I had to then, again, buy a lot of tools to be able to do all this shit which I wanted to do anyways, and then uh, I had to get the garage cleaned. So as of, mm, I wanna say Thursday, I finished the Bluebird. It's all done. So now, everywhere I go on the road, my ass is comfortably cool. I have reliable internet if I need it, and I have everything I could possibly need in this truck. So there you go. That's what's taken up all of the time that I have when I'm not doing day job work. I have not gone to Pleasure House Point to take pictures of birds, which sucks. I just haven't had the time for it. I do have these pictures of these raptors, of the osprey, that seem to nest right at the end of the drive to the lot that goes to three ships that I found out. So I, I was like shocked that, that I looked up and I saw an osprey flying over with a fish and then I thought, hmm, I think they said that there were nests over here. And I walked down to the end of the lot and there were three of them up there munching on these fish. So I have not had the time. I've, bar I've barely filmed, believe it or not. And even if I did, I just haven't had time to edit a video together to post it. So that's why you haven't seen me for over a month. Last weekend, a week ago today, I actually had a photo shoot with a professional model. Her name's Olinka and she is amazing and we had a fantastic time. It was a, it was a total blast. It was the way that it used to be back when I used to shoot in Chicago, when I used to shoot my friends, and we actually had a good time 
and, and had a lot of fun and got banger pictures. So we got over, I want to say over 350 pictures. Damn near every one of them is a banger. So that was a lot of fun. So thanks Alinka for bringing me back from the brink and showing me that all models aren't flakes and you know, getting together so we could shoot some awesome pictures. Otherwise, I have just been trying to loosen my sphincter and, and be as calm as possible. I think I'm there now. So now I'm going to go to Pearl Vision because unfortunately, my Pearl Vision where you know my girl Cindy totally hooks me up they like basically were told, oh yeah, by the way, we're, we're shutting down. You're gonna be done on the 22nd. So I went in and the last act of, of awesomeness from her is I'm getting these meta sunglasses, the, the Ray-Ban meta sunglasses. You know, I wanted to get them with my progressive lenses in there and she totally got me hooked up. I'm gonna go pick those up. Those finally came in today, which is the last day they are open. And she was like, I hope they come in before we close so that you don't have to go somewhere else. So, all right, let's go get these meta sunglasses and uh, see what we come up with. Okay, so here they are. These are my new meta sunglasses. Well, they're not sunglasses in that I got the uh, progressive lenses, but I also got the transitions. So I'm not gonna be switching things back and forth. So if I feel like wearing these out, you know, I can actually go into an establishment and not have to have darkened sunglasses. But if I wanna go outside in the sun, I can get them darkened. And they happen really quick because I mean, I literally just got in the truck and they're already going down. All right, so yeah, I got the new Metas. I'm gonna have to play around with them over this weekend and figure out how the hell to use them. All right, it's hot as balls. I need to start turning up the AC and getting cooled down so there isn't really much more for me to tell you i mean i literally i could have ended the video right at the beginning by saying i haven't posted a video because of day job but i did at least want to show you the bluebird finished and let you know what was going on with that all right enough blathering see nothing changes that is all you get for today so if you have any comments questions or suggestions leave them down below as always, thanks for joining me. Sorry it's been so long. I'll be better. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.